Hey guys, it's Susie G. I'm here today with Ben Lyons. What's up? It's good What's to see you. What's going on? It's good to see you. You right now are the host of NBA TV's The Warm Up, as well as you're working on a magazine and doing all kinds of different things. Tell me a little bit about how you got your start in the profession. I started out covering film, pop culture for the E! Channel when I was 24, 25 years old. I always loved the NBA. I grew up in New York. I'm a huge Knicks fan and, and basketball fan. So. I started tweeting a lot about the Knicks, and somehow that led me down a rabbit hole of working in sports media. Let's talk a little bit about the warm-up. Sure. You host this show with Bill Parrish every Thursday, and you guys, it's live, which makes it even more fun. And the concept is really cool because it's interactive. The other thing with this show is you guys get to dress pretty casually, so that leads me into our first conversation when we met was totally over sneakers. So tell me a little bit about all of your sneakers that you have. You know, I'm not on the like super high piece collector level. I'm not there, but I can't imagine wearing grown up shoes. So I'm kind of just a sneakerhead for life. I've definitely kind of downsized my collection and I'm not as into Jordan three, four, fives, and sixes like everyone is. I like random Jordan numbers, like give me a 26, give me the Jordan 30s. I like the Jordan 22, like weird Jordans now. These are the KD ones, the mint guys. I, like I love lot. those KDs. I have They're on great. my Westbrooks that I purchased just because I liked the <laughs> color of them. Totally being a girl, I'm like, oh, they go with everything. But sometimes there's great pride yeah. in going through TSA and they pull you aside just because they want to look at your sneakers and you're like, yo, I got these at Foot, Foot Locker, like, just like anybody else. But I notice in a lot of dudes especially right. is that when they get to be a certain age, they feel like they're not allowed to wear sneakers anymore. And, and I, love I don't them. get it. If you like wearing them and it makes you feel good, right. then do it. You have had the experience to kind of interview people that have camped out and have been in that scene. And my like viewers always ask me, and I'm like, I just kind of buy mine as they come in. What was that experience like to like actually watch people camp out? To feel that community, right? Like right. you see it online, you feel it on social media, certain Twitter accounts you follow. But to go and to wait overnight for a pair right. of Jordans and to see that there's like friendships and competitions and just like a community that exists right. there was really interesting. We have to talk about NBA fashion. It's become a big deal. The culture of the game is huge and that kind of leads into this magazine franchise that's kind of bringing a little bit of that all together. We have an NBA TV which I love is the fault of footage. So we right. can type in 1992 slam dunk contest and you can see all the outfits that the guys are wearing on the side. And it's so much fun to play right. with. And so back then the guys were into fashion but it was 90s fashion, it was all over right. the place. It was zany and there was more personality. Then, like, hip hop culture really became infused in the NBA. You saw throwback jerseys, you saw, you know, bigger kind of cuts on suits right. and clothes and stuff. And then, like, there's this phase of just like Fashion Week on Acid just started, where it was Amari wearing iced out menorahs and Paul George and Paisley shirts and post game press conferences. And it just got super nuts. But throughout it was like Kobe, who just in Beautiful Italian suits, tailored, well-fitting. Kevin Garnett is the best cashmere sweater collection game like of all time. So as I've gotten older, I've really like to see the NBA fashion of grown-ups like exist amidst right. all the capri pants and no yes. socks and craziness. That so Kevin Garnett has always been one of my favorite players, and I've watched his fashion over the years, and I'm like, you, cashmere sweaters are great. He's a, I, he's a cashmere sweater yeah. for every color of the rainbow. <laughs> when I'm amazed with Kevin Garnett now, and I see him every Thursday, Area 21, the whole thing, how does he keep the hooded sweatshirt like half on? He actually, I saw him in the Milwaukee Bucks practice, and he kept it on like that through the whole practice. It's like the it's half, half it doesn't it's, fall off. It please. doesn't fall off, but it's not fully on, but it's not off, it's amazing. I don't know how he does that. So we're talking about All-Star right now. What are your predictions? Who do you think is gonna be Captain, who do you think they're going to take? I want to see LeBron and Kyrie either be on the same team or they pick like to play that. against each other. But Kyrie's player exclusive sneakers all season long 
Yes. It's been amazing. His new one that hasn't come out yet or is about to launch, it's like a combination of all the sneakers. So great. I so I think for All Star Weekend, as far as you know, style predictions goes, Kyrie, who is in the conversation right. for MVP this year, his player exclusives All Star Weekend. I'm looking forward right. to that. I like yeah. Andre Drummond. I love his fashion. I, I feel like sometimes though he dresses stuff. like Steven Seagal. Like like <laughs> he'll wear like a samurai shirt. With True. no collar, but buttons. He always kind of does some like interesting things for me that I think I like the really crazy fashion, but yeah, some of them get a little bit. I like now in LA, we finally start to have some Euro players in LA. Which is Milos Teodosic, Danilo Gallinari. Like, I like to see the Euro flair when right. those guys really go out there, so we'll see. I think it's going to be an interesting week of fashion. There's going to be a lot of sneaker drops. I don't know. Yeah. They're going to be coming every which way. Yeah. But like you said, I think Kyrie is going to have a great sneaker. I'm waiting to see if Giannis gets a signature. What do you think about that? I'm excited that Giannis decided to go with Nike. You know, there's rumors that he might go with one of the Chinese companies right. like Anta or, you know, Li Ning. Obviously, Adidas showed up at his house and gave all him all those shoes. shoes. But I think it's really cool that he signed with Nike. Right. And, you know, Nike has taken this next step with a lot of their players like Paul George, like, um, you know, Kyrie, and giving them their own signature shoes, KD. Right. So I think Giannis is deserving alongside the rest of us. So speaking of sports culture, you work with a magazine by the Atlanta franchise. Yes, I come bearing gifts. Thank you. Tell Ish. me just a little bit about what's going on with this. This is issue four of franchise. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited really cool. to be a part of it. Sure. Came on board as our senior media producer with the goal of building out TV projects, film projects, and franchise is a community of like-minded people like yourself who just love the game of basketball, but appreciate the like, art and culture and design and photography, and we're not doing X's and O's. It's not just the it's not just the NBA. It's the entire game of basketball around the world. So yeah, and you guys, it's on its fourth issue, and it's really great. It's a beautifully done magazine. The Thank illustrations you. are all great. So it's an amazing team forward. of people, and yeah. I think it's um Thank you. yeah, it's just a really cool way to see the game globally. You guys go and thisisfranchise.com to actually order the magazine. Tune in every Thursday NBA TV for the warm up, and follow Ben on social media, Instagram. I am. Thanks, guys. Peace out.